Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to build a status test microservice on OpenShift um, using Jenkins and predefined uh, Jenkins pipeline. And also it um, will, I will use a Payara micro source to image, which uh, is used to configure Payara micro and deploy the application. So it's going to be a Java E uh, micro profile microservice. So first I will need the sources. So let's do this. I would like to clone the project, or like I have to clone the project. And um, so the, the sources are available right now. And there are two files, Jenkins file and pipeline. So the Jenkins file de defines the, uh, the pipeline. And this is the uh, definition of the Kubernetes or OpenShift, OpenShift build. So in the status test folder, this is the location of the microservice. I would like to build or to create the Payara, uh, or sorry, the status test application, status test, using a script which builds the application using Maven, then creates an app, S2i Payara Micro, and I describe how to install the Payara S2i Micro um, builder image in a separate screencast, and uh, then build is initiated, it's OC start build, and then a route, a route is exposed. And I think we should already have a running application. Here it is, status test. Um, one pod is already running with Pyra Micro. Okay, so then I can switch to the root folder. And here, OC create minus F pipeline. I would like to create the pipeline. And I can actually start the build. Uh, status test pipeline is the name. This is the name status test pipeline. So the pipeline is started and what we should see pipelines that the pipeline is already uh, starting. So um, the, the build was performed. It's very fast. There are no external dependencies. There's nothing to pull. System tests were executed. Unit tests were executed. Integration tests are executed. Now the server is going to be recreated. We see a rolling update. So a new pod was created. And um, then we wait until the service becomes available. And then the system test is performed, which probably will fail. The reason is we didn't define any readiness probes. So it means it is executed too early. So um, we um, the um, two things, the pipeline, it's fairly simple. So what the pipeline does, it is just a build config um, or the build is a uh, Kubernetes or OpenShift build config with uh, which points to a Git repository and it defines the Jenkins file. So it expects the Jenkins file in the root folder, which is also available here. And the uh, Jenkins file is a little bit more complicated or uh, a little bit longer but uh, first, we defined that we would like to have a Jenkins pod with uh, uh, labeled as Maven. So it should with installed Maven. And then uh, the um, microservice is built. Then the system tests are built. Then the uh, unit tests are performed. Then the integration tests are performed. Uh, the S2i build is performed as well. So this is Payara S2i uh, build. And then we wait until the service becomes available. And at the very end, system tests are performed as well. So um, if you would define the readiness probe, this system test would be green. So we can actually absolutely try that. So let's switch to, uh, to deployments, status tests, and uh, configuration. And we see there are no health checks. And I would like to define a readiness probe and get and the path should be status test slash uh, resources slash uh, statuses. And the port should be 8080. And uh, this should be enough. And now I would like to re-perform the pipeline again. So start pipeline. And now let's see what happens. So now the tests or the pipeline should be performed again. So the build system tests are, um, the system tests are built, unit tests, integration tests. Um, this will rebuild the server again. So we should see 
the uh, rolling update soon, status test. So now is uh, the uh, image was pushed and the application was redeployed. This was very quick because we are running thin wars. So the server already exists in the container registry and only a small war was submitted. So it's very fast. And um, now it should be available. So now we await a little bit longer because the readiness probe was defined. And so this, as you can already see, it takes a little bit longer. Now we have uh, already 20 seconds um, until the server starts and becomes fully available. And now the service was performed and the system tests were performed in two seconds and everything is green. So thank you for watching. See you at upcoming conferences, airhex.com um, or airhex.io. And uh, yeah, see you soon even on in projects. So thank you and bye.